Hey friends, attorney Kyle Newman here to discuss what's the best type of lawyer to become. So if you're a law student, an aspiring lawyer, or maybe you're just some kid from the burbs with no clue what the hell you wanna do, just like I was growing up, this video is definitely for you. And before anyone starts the path towards becoming an attorney, you should first take a good look in the mirror and ask yourself, Am I ready to graduate a four-year college and then either right after or sometime later take three years of the most intense learning imaginable aside from say an engineer or a doctor and go to law school and then take the bar exam. For myself, I'm a third generation attorney. So when it was getting close for me to graduate from college at the University of Maryland, and I had no idea really what I wanted to do, it was an easy choice for me because I figured, hey, I've been around lawyers pretty much my entire life. I think I'm pretty intelligent. I have a good work ethic. And really, I got nothing better to do. But seriously, I am so glad that I did. One of the things I learned from law school is there's something amazing that happens to your brain once you go through law school that really changes how you think for the rest of your life, the way in which you comprehend things, how you analyze, and how you look at the world totally changes in really an incredible way. Another great thing about being a lawyer is that there are so many fields of law to go into, from criminal law, family, corporate, tax, patent, sports, injury, malpractice, you name it, there's going to be a place for you out there. But when choosing the area of law you want to practice in, you need to first ask yourself, who is it that I want to help? Myself, as a Bronx personal injury attorney, my clients are for the most part lower income, immigrants, working class people who really don't have much. And when they get seriously injured, there is a lot riding on their cases, both, both for them and for their families. These are the people that I love to help because of the impact that I can have on their lives. But look, that might not be for you. Maybe you're a numbers person and you wanna help businesses through learning tax law, or you love sports and wanna work with pro athletes, or you love the show Suits and you wanna work in corporate law. Whatever it is, just make sure those are the people that you want to help because you loving helping a type of person and then doing it for a living, it makes your career that much more satisfying and your life that much more fulfilled. And when thinking about becoming a lawyer, some other questions to ask yourself are, are you a people person? For me, that's a no brainer. My superpower is connecting with people. That's why I love to be in court. I love presenting in front of a jury and I love working every day with all types of ordinary people who are my clients. But for some of you, that might be terrifying and that's okay. You don't need to be a per people person to be a successful attorney because just like there's a million different areas to practice in law, there are equally as many roles that you can play as a practicing attorney. Another question to ask is how much money will I make in that field of law? Look, I saw my friends in law school go into corporate law because they saw big dollar signs as a new associate. Others went into not-for-profit or for government jobs like corporation counsel or the district attorney's office and absolutely loved it even though they made less coming out of law school. And even though money does not buy happiness, it helps to know what you're getting into when you start out in a field of law. For myself, I lucked out. I went into the family business of helping catastrophically injured people fight against big corporations and insurance companies and found my true calling and expertise in not only being an accident attorney, but also working in medical malpractice cases suing doctors and hospitals. And on top of that, I'm a trial lawyer above all. I love being in court, I love the thrill of being in trial, and I love to win. So here's my pitch to you. If you're considering becoming a lawyer, what I do know is this. Personal injury law is an incredible profession. First of all, you don't have to be a trial attorney. You can work on the business side. You can be a rainmaker and be the person who gets clients, or you can do what I do. But the best part about personal injury is the difference you make in the lives of the people that you represent. Look, I never personally wanted to represent criminals. I never wanted to help corporations. And what I can tell you is 
that when you win for a person and you change their life, there is no greater or more satisfying feeling in the world. I mean, I have clients from 10 years ago that I still speak to and think about their cases all the time, not just because of the terrible things that they went through, but because I was able to get them what I consider real justice. So my advice to you when starting out is to try out as many types of law as possible. In college, I worked for this massive global corporate law firm. I absolutely hated it. In law school, I worked for a family law firm on mostly divorce cases was not for me. I worked for the DA's office out in Suffolk County in Long Island. I love that. I worked for a whistleblower law firm in Long Island, which was cool, but ultimately not for me. And it really took about half a dozen law firm experiences to figure out what worked. And I couldn't imagine doing anything else but right here at my law firm, James Newman PC. And at the end of the day, the world needs good lawyers to help keep us safe to help us in our time of need, to level the playing field and ensure that the world's a better place than when we left it. Laws are what makes this country great and it's up to the great future lawyers out there to keep it that way. All right, so that's my two cents for all you aspiring lawyers out there. I really hope you take the plunge and I can't wait to see what you do with that law degree. This is Kyle Newman and thanks for sticking around. It really means a lot. I'll catch you on the next one.